Hey guys, it's Jazzy Ray here and I'm back for another reading. Do not mind this background. I'm in my basement. Usually I film outside or in my bathroom, but it was raining and no, <laughs> no. But I wanted to film down here because it's cooler down here. So, um, but I'm reading for, I can't pronounce this name. So if I can't, if I get it wrong, don't judge me. But you hit me up on Instagram. First you hit me up on YouTube and then you hit me up on Instagram. So, um, her still hit tree. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, but I'm, I tried. So we're just going to call you hers. Can I, can I call you hers? We're going to call you hers. Okay. So, if you want birth chart readings, um, this is the final week. I'm accepting them for free. So if you hit me up this week and I film next week, you're good. You do not have to pay. You're good. However, if you hit me up next week, I'm going to put all the information. I'm going to do a video talking about it, put out my cash app, and we'll, we'll handle it there. Okay? And what services I'm offering because I'm not just going to just do... I'll talk about it. Okay? This is not the time. Okay. So, without further ado, let's get right into it. I'm going to show you. Now, yours is quite interesting, okay? Um, your sun is Aquarius, your moon is Gemini, your Mercury is Aquarius, and then your Venus is also Aquarius, so you in Aquarius, honey. And then your um, Mars is Scorpio. That, a lot of people's Mars are Scorpio. I don't know what that's about. And your ascendant is Cancer. And when I did yours, I'm like, okay, this person has to have a lot of masculine energy and then look over here that's what you got right there your masculine energy is eight and your feminine is two i was right on the money so i hope you can see me let's get started so your sun sign is aquarius aquarius is a masculine sign okay it's an air sign like me <laughs> um it's a it has a fixed quality so signs with a fixed quality is aquarius taurus leo and scorpio and when you have a fixed quality this just means that you know what you want out of life you have a plan you stick to your plan it's kind of hard for you to adapt to things because you're so used to having things a certain way you only really adapt when you want to you know um mutable quality signs with mutable quality is a uh, Gemini, Pisces, Virgo, and Sagittarius. And mutable quality is the opposite of fixed. So it's like with mutable, they don't have a plan. They don't know what they want. They kind of wing everything they do. It's easy to adapt to things very easily. So, um, and then qual um, cardinal quality, quality um, signs with that quality is Aries, Capricorn, Cancer, and Libra. Which just means action. Putting in a lot of hard work, you know, to get what they want. So the best way I can describe this is say you have a project. And you may do three, you may have three copies of this project maybe. So the first copy will be the first draft. And with the first draft, you don't know how you're gonna how you're gonna do this project. You're coming up with ideas. So the first project will be a mutable quality. Then you have the second project, the second draft, and you know what you want to do and you stick to it. And that will be I hate that I'm sticking my middle finger up. There we go. Um then we have that 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 will be fixed, okay. Then you have the final draft, the final copy of this project that you're getting ready to turn in for school or whatever. And you're just making it better. You're putting in a lot of hard work. You're taking out stuff. You're putting in stuff. You may even add some little trinkets to it. That would be cardinal. Okay? Cardinal quality. So I hope that kind of explains it for you. Um. So, all right. So your planet for Aquarius is Uranus. That's hilarious. And it's polar opposite. I'm just looking at my notes making sure I don't say the wrong thing. Um, polar opposite is Leo, which they say you're supposed to marry your polar opposite. I don't know if that's true or not because I don't know. 
I, I just think that's 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 wrong but it could be right I don't know but in my case I think it's wrong <laughs> so what can I say about Aquarius is you're the second Aquarius I did today so Aquarius is a oh, quirky people they love technology they love numbers they love math who loves math but they love math they're good with numbers they're good with technology they they even look they're on their phones 24 7 because it's technology but they want to like develop technology to help better the world so these people will probably would grow up and have their own companies and stuff and may, may make like new cell phones and new video games and video game platforms and things like that so not saying you're probably into that stuff but you probably own this a lot okay you probably own this a lot oh i just got something on snapchat i have to check it later um aquarius is tend to not show themselves around people that they don't know in fact i always thought aquarius were emotionless because they just i don't know like y'all don't show any facial expressions or anything not saying that you're like that but a lot of aquarius i know are like that but once they meet someone that they can truly be their their quirky funny silly selves around and it's like y'all good y'all show everything you know and it's, it, i like aquarius i have a friend that's an aquarius my brother's an aquarius um another thing about aquarius is which that's your mercury i'm gonna get into that because i was gonna say something like aquarius is are very argumentative but we're gonna get into that later um aquarius are really like they're down for anything they're down for literally anything as long as they want to do it. You know, that's that's Aquarius. Um, now let's get to Gemini. Your moon is Gemini. Dad's mentioned your sun sign is who you are. So Aquarius, your sun sign is who you are. So your moon represents emotions. And it's Gemini, which is also an air sign. It's elements. I just said that. <laughs> it's elements, air. It's a masculine sign. Um, it's opposite is Sagittarius, which is why I said it, it didn't work. And, um, it's crazy because we're in Gemini season. <laughs> it's immutable. It has a mutable quality. Um, and one more thing. I'm a Gemini, so this would be easy for me. Okay, so moon represents emotions. Geminis, they show emotions when they want to. <laughs> okay, Geminis don't really take anything serious unless they want to like that's like gemini has to be the most free flowing sign other than pisces has to be the most free flowing sign that there is and gemini's not being biased but gemini's i think gemini's are, are great sometimes <laughs> gemini's will have a bad attitude at times but it really depends on the day of the week and how they woke up really because Gemini is another sign that's down for anything as long as they want to do it, you know. So their emotions, like they, they pretty much cool. They, they, they following you. So it's like it really takes a lot for a Gemini to get angry or emotional. And when a Gemini is emotional, because Gemini's are known for being very, I don't care if anybody watches this and they want to say, oh, Gemini's are not known for that. No, Gemini's are known for being positive and love watching people have a good time because it makes them happy. Because they love to spread positivity. But so when a Gemini is angry or when a Gemini is emotional or just it takes the right person to really push the Gemini's buttons. And Gemini's got a rage of sharp tongue. But the, it's like Scorpio, but so the difference is Scorpio will all lie to get revenge. Gemini will tell the truth and hurt your feelings. Okay? That's the difference between the two. So your emotions, so your emotions, I would say, you probably don't take anything serious. It's probably whatever. You're probably able to brush it off. It takes the right person to push your buttons. And when they do, you're not playing around. So, that covers moon. Okay, so your um, Mercury is also Aquarius. Which, oh my gosh, Mercury represents communication. And that is Gemini's planet is communication. It's Mercury, which is communication. I forgot to mention that. So Aquarius, when they communicate, they, they like to talk about the world and how to better the world and, and better, you know, just help people. Because they're like, 
Aquariuses are like humanitarians. Like Bob Marley was an Aquarius. If that kind of gives you the gist of how Aquariuses are. They're really into that stuff. But however, Aquariuses can be argumentative. Because I say that the air signs are the biggest and the best trollers ever. Because Aquarius will start arguments to make a person feel really stupid. Gemini will expose some truth while throwing shade to make a person feel stupid. And Libra, well, they just make people angry to make them feel stupid. I'm trying to figure that one out. But, so you're probably, you know, if you come across someone who don't know what they're talking about, you're probably armed and ready to make them feel dumb. Okay? Because Aquariuses don't like to feel dumb. So, if they come across someone that makes them feel dumb, then it's like, oh, wow. You know? I mean, I don't know. But if y'all come across somebody... Ooh, excuse me. If y'all come across somebody who's dumb, I don't know what. Aquarius is like, let me let me go ahead and set this person straight real quick because they sound stupid. Okay. Now, let me look over here. So your Venus is also Aquarius. So a Venus is how we love and and how we show love and what attracts us. So Aquarius is in love. They want somebody who's smart. They want someone who's smart, someone who's able to have intelligent conversation, someone who cares about the world and wants to better the world. And if they can't find that, then they just know. Now, when it comes to what attracts them as far as like physical, they're, they're literally, they'll date anyone as long as they're attracted to them. You know, as long as they provide conversation and things like that, you know. Um, so it's kind of like Gemini is the same thing, you know, or Libra. Aquarius is, um, they say they're not the most sexual, but I don't think that's true. Because I read about y'all. Y'all into some some crazy stuff, okay? Y'all, y'all, y'all would do fine with a Scorpio, but that attachment just won't be there unless Aquarius really likes Scorpio. Um, and then your Mars. What is your Mars? It's Scorpio. Oh my gosh, it's Scorpio. So, Mars is what we want in our action, our drive. Um, its ruler is, uh, well not its ruler, um, but the sign that Mars rules is Scorpio. And Scorpio is the only sign that's ruled by two planets. One being Mars and the other one being Pluto. Mars is aggression and sex and work and, and drive, while Pluto is like the planet of the darkness and death. And this this is why Scorpio has that dark reputation. So, so Scorpio is a feminine sign. It's a water sign. Its quality is fixed. Its polar opposite is Taurus. Um, and I just mentioned the planets that it rules. So with Scorpio being it's Mars. So when it comes to the work, your work ethic. Scorpio is all about trust. Like their biggest thing is trust. Their biggest fear is being betrayed, either either by other people or by themselves. So Scorpio trusts their instincts a lot. So you're probably someone who goes with their gut feeling a lot when it comes to certain situations. If you don't feel comfortable, you will leave. Um, because people think Scorpio is oh they're sex addicts and oh they're crazy and this and that. It's not the case. Scorpio doesn't want to be betrayed, and Scorpio will revenge, okay, revenge, which brings me to the anger. So when Scorpio is angry, Scorpio will plot revenge, whether it's getting somebody fired from a job, spreading lies or truth. Um, if a person cheat on you, you may be tempted to cheat back. You know, and that's just Scorpio, and then after that, Scorpio will be fine and say, hey, let's, let's be friends again. That's, that's why Scorpios, like people call Scorpios crazy. Um, because they, 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 they have an emotional attachment to people. So when you break that attachment, that really hurts Scorpio. And they, they're acting out, out of hurt. And you know, hurt people hurt people. So, you know, not necessarily, but sometimes hurt people hurt people. So when Scorpio is hurt, Scorpio wants to get back at that person because I have an emotional attachment with you and you just sat here and played me. So it's just, you know, that, that don't. Like people do not want to, you don't play around when it comes to loyalty. You don't play. 
um, sexually. We're not going to get into Fifty Shades of Grey and whips and chains because Scorpio is into that stuff. However, Scorpio is not promiscuous as people think that they are. Anybody can be promiscuous. But the thing with Scorpio is that Scorpio has, again, emotional attachment to a person in order to have sex with them. So, how Scorpio is, is they have to, like, for example, if you decide, hey, I want to have sex with such and such, such and such might say no. You, you may feel some type of way because it's like, wow, I'm sitting here giving myself to you because I love you because I feel like we have a bond and you're going to tell me no? You must not love me then. That's how Scorpio is. And the sex is going to be very intense because, like I said, it's emotional. It's emotional as hell. So you might shed some tears. I don't know. I mean, whatever you went to, it's going to be intense as hell. Okay? So your ascendant is Cancer. So Cancer is feminine. It's also a water sign. Now, its quality is cardinal, which means you're about that action. Its planet is the moon. It's the moon. And its polar opposite is Capricorn. So with Cancers... Which tells me that you are a caring person. You're caring. You're loving. Um, you'll do anything for the people that you love. And you can be, you probably have your moments when you're probably a little manipulative. You probably will use that to get what you want. Also, cancers are peaceful. They don't like to fight. They don't like to fight. They, I mean, not saying cancers don't fight. But they don't like to. Like, cancers is the type of sign that will actually apologize after they fight. It's weird because I'm not apologizing for nothing. <laughs> if I gotta fight you, that's the end. Like you probably will will apologize, and you may go back to being friends with that person because you you still care. If you don't care, you're not gonna do it. But if you do care, you'll probably be, be friends. So I would say you are a Aquarius who is very loyal and, and and very loving and nurturing and motherly, and you're peaceful. Which Aquarius is already peaceful, so. That works. <laughs> now, your masculine is eight and your feminine is two. So masculine energy just means physical and feminine is more mental and more emotional. Which this tells me that you are physical as hell. Okay, you probably, if you work a job that requires you to just sit down or just stand there, you hate it. You want to work a job that allows you to move around and do things. And you probably, in most situations, you're probably way more aggressive than you are passive. Or you may be passive-aggressive, okay? Um, the goal is you want to be balanced for the most part. That's the goal. So you're, you're probably someone who works out, you know, a lot. <laughs> if you don't work out, then you're probably doing something that's active. Um... But the goal is you want, like I said, you want everything to be balanced. So you got to know when to act in certain situations. You got to know, you know, when it's okay to be physical. But also know that it's also okay to sit down and just smell the roses. And just, you know, just look at everything you accomplish and just be happy, you know. Record and my camera keeps turning off. Okay, but um, I was just going to say that I hope that this resonates with you. If you have any more questions, just let me know. Um, again, if you guys want readings, this is the final week. I'm ex Ooh, excuse me. This is the final week. I'm accepting free readings, okay? But I'm going to put out a video discussing prices because next week, no more free readings unless I announce I'm giving out free readings. So. I'll see you guys when I see you guys. Make sure you subscribe and like the video. Bye.